How to use Netch commands to manage TCP auto-tuning in Windows. Hello everyone, and welcome to ComTech Geeks. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to manage TCP auto-tuning settings in Windows using Netch commands. These commands are helpful for optimizing network performance or troubleshooting connection issues. What is TCP auto-tuning? Concept of TCP auto-tuning. One. TCP auto-tuning dynamically adjusts the receive window size to optimize data flow based on your network conditions. Two, sometimes you may need to disable or modify this feature for troubleshooting or performance tuning. Required preparations. First, ensure you're running command prompt as an administrator. Here's how. One, click on the start menu and type CMD. Two, right click on command prompt and select Run as Administrator. Commands Overview. Displaying the three commands. Onetchant TCP set global auto-tuning level. Disabled Onetchant TCP set global auto-tuning level. Normal Onetchant TCP show global one. Checking current settings. First, let's check the current TCP global settings. Run the following command, Netchant TCP show global. This will show you the status of TCP auto-tuning and other global TCP parameters. Two, disabling TCP auto-tuning. To disable TCP auto-tuning, type this command and hit enter net shant. TCP set global auto-tuning, level, sure disabled. You should see a message saying, OK. This means the setting has been applied. Disabling auto-tuning forces. Windows to use a fixed size TCP receive window, which may help stabilize network connections in some cases. Three, re-enabling TCP auto-tuning. If you want to re-enable auto-tuning, Use this command net ONT TCP set global auto-tuning level, sure normal. Again, you should see OK if it's successful. This restores the dynamic adjustment of the TCP receive window, which is ideal for most modern networks. Verifying changes. Finally, verify the new settings by running the net ONT TCP show global command again. Common use cases. Disabling auto-tuning can be useful when, one, you're troubleshooting network issues, Two, an older router or device has compatibility problems with dynamic receive window adjustments. Three, testing and benchmarking network performance. That's it for today's tutorial. Now you know how to check, disable, and re-enable TCP auto-tuning using NetSH commands in Windows. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips like this.